Hello everyone, Carlos here again. We're on keyboard shortcut number 13, which is gonna be about Control G. Control G, one of my favorites too, because uh, say that, for example, you wanted to get to this, to a chart from, from being the spreadsheet without having to click on it. That's what I use it a lot. Because for example, I'm in this cell, right? But I wanna jump into the chart using just my keyboard. This is how you do it. You do Control G, and then Control G is gonna appear this window, okay, which is, I call it the go to simple version because there's the other one is go to special. But once you have it there, okay, which this is this window or this interface, you have it here, you can actually jump with your keyboard shortcut or with your keyboard to the special button, to this one right here. But you can't do it with just pressing S, okay? You have to press something else and this is it. You do Alt S and then now we go to go to special, okay? Once you're there, Okay, now this is kind of cool because I have to, if I do, uh, if I move with my arrows, you know, I can move to the options right here and actually I want to move to the objects, okay? But say that, you know, you wanted to move faster, you can actually just, once you're here on notes, you can actually press uh, V because V is the letter that is underlined within this interface, meaning that it's indicating to you that if you press the B keystroke, it's going to jump all to that. It's going to jump from that selection of notes to that of B of objects. We do B, we did it with a keyboard, okay? I pressed B and then I jump to that. Now I do enter and now I'm selecting the chart. Now the cool thing, and this is uh, Cristiano Galbao from Excel Turbo uh, taught me this, that if you press the control key, keystroke, we actually activate, maybe it didn't work. Mm, it should, for example, work like this. I don't know, it didn't work there. So sorry for that, you do control. Okay, maybe it's not working because maybe we need more space, okay? There we go, so it should work now. I don't know, maybe you have to expand a little bit the interface, I don't know, maybe. Let's just move this chart right here, okay? So do you see these buttons right here? These buttons, they, you can invoke them or you can actually uh, call them out with just pressing Control once the chart is selected, okay? So I'm actually gonna go do it this again and do it a little bit faster. So Control G, okay, Alt S, and then V, and then Enter, and then Control, and then control twice, one more time, and the second time. And now once you're in this part, this is kind of cool because you can play around with the with the chart, meaning like you can highlight. So you just using, moving around with your keyboard, with your arrow keystrokes, up and down, you can actually use highlighting the chart. It's kind of cool for interaction because sometimes you can actually use it for presenting or actually showing to your colleagues some analysis that you're doing. So that's kind of neat. So that's why I use a lot Control G to jump into my charts just using the keyboard when not using the mouse or having to click on them. Although I also use the mouse too, so I use it interchangeably. But again, I wanted to show you that with the keyboard is, is possible. I think it was a good example. Okay, that's what it's for. Well, actually, that's not what it's for. You can also do way more stuff that we're going to see in a bit. But I did kind of show you a little bit how to navigate in this interface, okay? So let's just do this, these two points, for example. Now let's just move this chart here. And say, for example, that you were right now selecting this right in this part, for example, in C, um, cell A1. And now you wanted to sort of jump into the cells that have formula right away. You wanted to highlight them all immediately. Why? For this, for example, maybe you will have the practice that everything that everything, all the cells that have formulas, I wanted to color them in some sort of color, say gray, for example. So, for example, you do Control G, okay, and now I'm just gonna zoom in so you can see that this is the go to simple version or go to without special, okay, and I'm gonna back up and do Control S, so to call go to special. Once we're there, we have to sort of we can move with your arrows, okay, up and down. Oh, and then we can actually just press F to jump from notes to formulas. We do F, we jump there, and now we hit enter. And now the go to special went to this section that has formulas. And as we expand the window, it's also highlighting. You can see because it's like it put a um, sort of highlighting the, the cells, okay? And now we go to home, okay? And actually, it's kind of silly that I'm using the keyboard, right? But we just highlight them like that, okay? And again, it highlighted everything that has formulas, okay? Maybe there's no more other formulas, but you see everything, all these cells have formulas. So Control G pretty much allows you to jump into a specific sections that sort of comply with any of the criteria that Control G, Alt S have in this interface that you have here. 
So we're not gonna explore all these options because it will take the video will take longer. But just know that you can get to this window with your keyboard and just actually go to one of these sections right here. Actually, an upcoming tutorial that I'm gonna be sharing is how to fill blanks um, sort of uh, with your keyboard. I'm not gonna tell you more, but it's coming. But you can also go to the visible uh, cells only. That's kind of useful, especially when you're copying data that is filtered and you want actually just to copy the filter data. Sometimes you can copy and, and paste in another place. It will paste the filter stuff, but sometimes actually um, paste the whole table. So in order to protect yourself, sometimes using visible cells only, once you have filter data, it's a good option to, to take out and you have a sort of a way to protect yourself that you're gonna paste the stuff that is filtered. So it's a good option to know that it's there, okay? So that's it guys. This is the, the how you navigate through the, the interface or you can just press a keystroke that is actually indicating right here. So if you wanna go to a B or you want a K for blanks or actually make row differences, I never use that one, for, for instance, for example, or O for constants, okay? For example, in this constant, and just to conclude this video, maybe we can do this too for everything that is constant. Maybe what we can do, and this is gonna, gonna highlight, I think, the table as well. So let's check it out. Control G, Alt S, and then C for con for O for constants, and then enter. So that's kinda, it's kinda gonna highlight everything. So pretty much the table, but, and also everything that you see here, but because this is gray, we can't tell the difference, but this is right now being highlighted, okay? It's not highlighting the formulas, it's also highlighting everything that is text, or actually that is uh, an input, okay? So the tables is all inputs and all that. So in this case, it's, gonna, it's not gonna work because we just wanted to select this part right here. So maybe we, what you can do right here, for example, if you just wanted to, you can expand the selection right here, and then do Control G, and now it's gonna go to those cells of that selection, okay? That's kinda cool. Alt S and then C for actually O for constants. And I actually it's only gonna highlight now everything that is on that section. Now I'm gonna press Control V, B for Control Bold. And actually now you can see that it, uh, it just bolded the stuff that is only constants, okay? That is input value, hardcoded hard value, okay? And that's it guys, this is it. Uh, maybe I just went a little bit too fast, but uh, there's also, for example, this window right here that you have the go to. I didn't wanna, you know, I think it's kinda obvious that you can, once you're in that part, you can actually go to the items that maybe uh, you previously, um, that you have, for example, tables, uh, define names and all that. They're gonna appear here. You can actually go to them. For example, for table one, we can just press enter now and it's actually gonna take me to this table right here that I defined as table one in the previous tutorial, okay? Uh, you can do control G and say that you wanted to go to a specific cell, you can actually go right here in reference and do A1, for example, and do enter, and it's actually gonna take you to that cell of that sheet, okay? So, kinda obvious, I think, but then again, I think the trick or the, the really the keyboard shortcut is about going control G and then all S, into jump into the go to um, the go to a special window or interface because it has a lot of options to really take advantage of. All right, guys. So I'll see you in the next video, number fourteen. Thank you.